Gemini we're doing an energy reading for you today and whenever you're watching this is the most perfect time for you just take from it what resonates leave what does not big welcome to those that are new to my channel those that follow me regularly love your support if you do enjoy my readings make sure to subscribe to my channel show the love hit the like button and the notification bells to get notified when your next star sign reading is up on my channel. Still have time to go into the July competition and win a one hour pre-recorded personal reading with me where I meditate on your energy as well as check your Akashic record, your past life information, divine gifts and talents, answer your most burning questions for the tarot and the oracle. Super simple to enter. All you got to do, pop a comment below this video. Let me know you want to go into the draw and uh, I make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And I'll be drawing a random winner at the end of the month and announcing it on my channel. Now, if you do need extra support and uh, guidance at this time with a personal reading, then deeply transformational. My readings are open. Uh, booking link will pop up on here as well as you can find it down below. All right, let's dive in. So we're pulling you a central energy from the Journey of Love Oracle Gemini. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, this is beautiful. You've pulled the cosmic butterfly. Oh, it's interesting there's one hiding behind that. Oh, you've also pulled heaven. So you've got a deep connection to spirit at this time. But the main one that wanted to come out for you was the cosmic butterfly, which is all about transformation. Personal growth. Let's pull you up the guidance. You ready? It says Gemini. You're being reborn from the pulsating womb of the Divine Mother on fire with her creative power. You were transformed whilst living. To surrender certainty in favour of openness, to accept the smallness of your everyday life whilst admitting to the magnificence of your being, to open up to the Divine Light that pours through you in a myriad of forms, endlessly creating, destroying, creating again. This is your sacred task and life is thriving within you. This may not feel stable as yet, but it will certainly feel exciting as you enter into another cycle of rebirth. Let this life seem as though you're living many lifetimes in one. It's possible for you to encounter the totality of human experience in this lifetime, should you be open to it. It is treading the enlightened path, embracing all of life, and you have chosen this for yourself and been blessed with it as a possibility this lifetime. Why not let yourself be broken down and reborn through the workings of nature? Another life within this one beckons you on now. So for some of you, this is a culminating lifetime. Mm -hmm. The message for you from this oracle is that if your life feels like it's falling apart, then take heart. For it is falling apart to come back together in a new way. You're going through rebirth like a butterfly in a chrysalis. The agony and the delight, the sense of dying and truly being alive can be held in the serene space of your heart. Surrender into what you are becoming now and know that what you're leaving behind is but a shell that once will have held your fast emerging new self. Very brief poem here. It says, the breeze of the butterfly's wings caresses the stillness of my thoughts and awakens feelings that course through my veins, like a whale's song to the ocean's depths. There are wells within me a knowing and a wonder for what is yet to be. Oh, how beautiful. Mm, exciting. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the uh, Sacred Destiny Oracle. Mm, you got two here. There's a new opportunity coming related to career and finances. Any storm, Spirit's asking for you to see the truth in those storms. So versus just looking at the appearance of things going a bit deeper. Mm, you are going to get illumination about anything troubling you in your life or any clarity you're trying to seek right now. Oh, and some of you need to do some forgiveness, which is a releasing and letting go. Circumstances, situations, people, something. It'll be different for each of you. All right, let's pull some spiritual guidance for you. Oh, you got the winged messenger of creation, which is your spiritual 
direction inspires your creative flow. So there could be a new opportunity re related to some sort of business idea. Mm -hmm. that you want to do? Oh, you've got the visionary, which is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. With an intuitive with an intuitive perspective, I see the big picture. Directly related to you seeing truths in storms and getting illumination. So you may have a big aha moment. You've also pulled the storyteller, which is all about your intention. Yeah, I am the narrator of my own life. So whatever you want to do, have, create in your life, whatever you want your life to look like, you're in the driver's seat of that. I have to share something with you, and it kind of does get my goat. <laughs> what does that mean? Is, it, you know, as much as we want to get guidance from the Tarot, the Oracle, Astrology, you're always in control of your life and you're always in charge of your destiny, right? So as much as there's other forces at play, it's always you that chooses which direction you want to go in. It's always you that chooses what action's next to take, right? When we get into a state of apathy and go, oh, it's all happening in, you know, it's all happening according to divine will, well, we can release and flow and go with the flow, right? But you've always got conscious choice in what happens in your life, right? So... It's almost saying that you're giving control of your life over to something else versus you taking charge of it. Mm. Darlings, take charge of it. You've got the uh, beautiful sun goddess, which is all about lift off. I open my senses to feel delicious pleasure and passion. So definitely opening up to the new embracing life. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, in terms of clarifiers with the energy oracle. Let's have a look at this opportunity coming in, which is some of you directly related to your spiritual beliefs, your healing abilities, your creativity. You know, you've got appreciation. Spirit's asking for you to live in the present moment. Appreciate self, appreciate the blessings in your life, doing your gratefulness practices. Mm, and Spirit's saying you really need to have patience with anything new you're kicking off. Because mm, you've got blossoming abundance. So if you kick off something new, it's going to take a while to build. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at seeing truths in storms. Okay, you've got the temple path here. Your angels, your spirit guides, definitely watching over you. Some of you may want to follow a path of love and light. Mm. And if you do, Spirit's saying you've got to be very practical. So you've got the thinking woman and you've got woman holding a coin. So whatever you do, darlings, it has to support you financially. All right? Um, we're not going to be gender biased here. So, guys, same message. Let's have a look at you getting illumination. Oh, it's directly related to the root chakra. So your finances, your security, your stability. Mm. Again, you've got the door to spirit opening. Spirit's all over your reading. There's definitely something you want to kick off here that's really you're very passionate about, but you've got to put a practical plan around it. Yeah, and you've also got to boost up your solar plexus, your life force energy. That's the physical body coming through there. Let's have a look at you being the storyteller in your own life. Okay. There's an attachment here. So if you're holding yourself stuck, then you're consciously holding yourself stuck, right? <laughs> you can release yourself at any time. Oh, you regularly need to get some rest. So if you're feeling like you're not making any progress, sometimes we've got to step back and just renew yourself so that we have that energy to push forward. Uh, some of you are holding yourself back from love and opening up the door to love. Let's have a look at this attachment. Oh, you, you, there is going to be a big positive shift in energy for you. You've got the sun coming out. So if you're going through something where you feel like you're in a holding pattern, it's only temporary. Let's have a look at this forgiveness that needs to happen. Oh, it, whatever forgiveness you need to do, which is often just releasing things that have wounded us or hurt us, is just going to bring you into balance. All right. Hmm. You've got community here. Some of you may be trying to build a community. Your friendships are also very important at this time. Yeah, because you've got healer of the ages. Some of you definitely want to follow a path of love and life. 
Mm, yeah. Oh, let's have a look at lift off here. Okay. There's some envy and lack going on here. Possible jealousy going on. Oh, the Spirit's saying you've got to rely on your strengths. I don't know if there's people that you look at and think, why have I not got what they've got or why are they further along the path than I am? Takes as long as it's going to take, my darlings. Yeah, you've got as many opportunities as anyone else, Spirit's saying. Let's have a look at this lack going on. Mm. Some of you have definitely experienced a loss, broken heart, which has made you a little envious of others, I'm going to say. Yeah, Spirit's saying you need to journal out your feelings. Mm -mm. Yeah, to clear this, the forgiveness that needs to happen. For some of you, there's a message channeling through, like if the ex-partner is doing really well, they've got their finances organized, they've got a new love relationship. Some of you are envious of that, the fact they've left you behind. You still haven't got where you want to be. You need to journal out your feelings. Um, write on paper whatever you want to say so that it just clears your energy. Um, mm -hmm. For others, there's just some sort of heart clearance, heart chakra clearance that needs to happen there. All right, let's pull some guidance from the uh, Goddess Guidance deck. Let's have a look at this top row, this opportunity coming in. Spirit's saying you need to be patient and just live in the present moment. Oh, got purification here. Some of you may need to do a physical cleanse. Watch your diet, your nutrition, your exercise. You've got your independence. Independent side of you is part of your nature, darlings, right? Embrace it. And... You got a message from spirit that if you're feeling anxious and worried about your money, they're saying, please stop doing that because whatever you want's coming, right? It's coming. Stop worrying. <laughs> Let's have a look at you seeing the truth in storms and being very practical about any projects and plans you want to kick off when it comes to your money. Oh, you got Athena in it, wisdom. You've got a lot of ancient wisdom in, within you and the life experiences you've gone through. There's an owl there, again, seeing the truth in situations, right? Trust your inner knowing. Mm. And expect a miracle. So when you show your intentions and you put a solid plan around what you want to create, the universe is going to match you with a miracle. Mm hmm Again, you've got transformation. Big change is happening. Let's have a look at this illumination you're going to get around your root chakra, your finances. You've also got your energy here. Okay, you've got justice and fairness coming out here. So there will be a balancing of scales in your life. So don't feel like someone's got away with something. Yeah, because you've got rigid, don't back down, stand up for yourself. Do what you do it. Do what you believe is right, and you've just got to stay focused. So really, it's kind of saying, Gemini, you've got to stay your own path, right? Don't worry about all the other paths around you. Just focus on your own. You've got Sarah's Vita the Art. Some of you want to do creative things. You may want to express yourself through music or art. Mm, yeah, okay. Again, you got a message that when you're in feeling stuck and in states of lack, you've got to step back and rest, take some quiet time, recalibrate yourself. Some of you definitely, there's a broken heart here, right? That love is no longer returned, right? So it's unrequited at this point. So if you're still pining over it, darlings, it's gone. The door on that is closed shut, right? They've moved on and doing other things. Uh, it was a past life soulmate connection. So confirmation, you didn't waste your time in it. It was a soulmate connection, right? But it's over, darling. Mm -hmm. Which is why there's forgiveness here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's bring some guidance from the Crystal Healing deck. Oh, you pulled past life again. Your past life gifts and talents are coming out to the fore. This is directly related to this opportunity and something you want to create. Oh, your third message, you need to relax. You're pushing it too hard. You may be trying to create something before you're financially ready. 
And Spirit's saying that opportunity, you're not going to miss out on that opportunity. It's always going to be there for you. You've got communication here. So there may be a communication coming in around something in the legal system, something contractual, because you've got justice here, and you standing up for yourself. Any other guidance there? Mm, you've got healer here. Some of you are a healer. And your communication skills are one of your divine gifts and talents. Written word, spoken word. Everything is going to lead you to success, despite what you've been through, my loves. Yep. And definitely need, some of you need to do some emotional healing about whatever this connection was here. Oh. Okay, you've got relationship healing. I don't know some of you are pining for an ex and want them back. They've moved on. Um, I mean, you, if you've got children together and that kind of thing, well, you could definitely want to smooth the waters. But if you don't have a connection anymore and there doesn't need to be a connection, you've got to ask yourself, is that really going to help you at all? I mean, we can certainly make peace. If things didn't end well, you could certainly make peace with each other. Yeah, because someone's in their shadow side here, and I've got to say, Gemini, I think it's you. You may have both been in your shadow side when it ended. There's a need to look at it from a different perspective because you may not have really understood the other person. They may not have understood your perspective either whenever this, dare I say, imploded. Mm -hmm. um, it's not going to, this message is only going to resonate for those of you with, that need to do this emotional healing and let someone go. Let's pull you some guidance from the messenger oracle. Right now you've got the message to focus on need and necessity, which is you getting through your day-to-day, -day, living expenses, being very practical around that, not overspending, not putting pressure on yourself with big ticket items. You do need to make the sacrifice and put the hard work in when it comes to your goals and your plans. Oh, you've got be without malice. So I'm going to say some of you are going to go through a legal situation where you're not going to get the result you were hoping to get. It's going to be balanced and fair for both parties, right? So if you think that you're going to one-up someone, you're not. And it's going to be equal, right? So it is going to be a balanced outcome, but it may not be exactly what you wanted. Mm, it's channeling through so strongly. It will be fair, right? It will be fair for both parties. So Spirit's saying don't project your disappointment onto the other person. They're saying you need to stay open to being loving without condition, right? So don't allow it to get you deeply into your shadow side where you want to lash out at people with that tongue of yours. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to step back, darlings. You're going to have to step back, darlings, and just balance yourself first. Because we can communicate a message in a way that, Heard. But if you communicated a message from your shadow side, people are just going to look at you like your little cray cray mm -hmm. versus you stepping back and gathering yourself and like hand over heart chakra, calming self, waiting, don't respond, react straight away. Take some time. You don't have to make a response straight away, right? You don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wait a day, two days, a week before you respond. And when you're in a karma state, then respond if you need to. Again, you got a message you need to focus and act on and do follow your own path, right? Whatever path that was is over and you've got to follow your own new path now. You've basically travelled as far as you can together. And you've just got to love and appreciate self, love that you're different, embrace all parts of self. There's certainly a healing journey here that you're going through. Wow. All right, let's have a look and see who you're connected to in the spirit realm. Oh, okay, these want to jump out. you got DNA light codes. So you're getting a download of your DNA light codes. You pull past life twice in your reading. So information about where you were in a past life, who you were in a past life, your wisdom and ancient wisdom coming back to you. You're also connected to a wizard. Now, it could be an ancient wizard who's in the spirit realm. It could be one, you may have the gift of being a wizard, as in like um, potions, spell casting, things that interest you in that, magic. 
Well, you're also connected to Pleiades at this time. So anything new that you're kicking off has got the energy of the seven stellar sisters of Pleiades, which is blessing your projects at this time. Let's have a look at your chakra balance. Oh, here's your lower back. There's attachments you need to release. Now, it's just people you need to let go of and situations you need to let go of. You need to do some cord cutting. Uh, there was There's a really good cord cutting meditation by Lisa Watley in the Guided Meditation playlist on my channel. That would be really good for you to do. I think it goes for about an hour. I just lay down and listen. It's brilliant. Oh, yeah, because right next to that, release attachments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> cord cutting. <laughs> Journaling will help you too. Listening to music, sound therapy, anything to do with music, guided meditations would be good to clear and soothe your energy. Let's have a look at your life path guidance. Oh, you're very good at planning and organising things. And you're a big picture person, a visionary. That's come out twice now. So you can see things about like creating certain abundance flows that other people can't see. You're very creative, innovative. Sometimes people just won't get you at all because you're way further ahead of them in terms of your vision. Yeah, major life changes here going in a new direction. Some of you, it's a passion project. Mm -hmm. All right, what do your angels want you to know right now, Gemini? Oh, it's all about protection. It says, you are safe, do not fear. We are always with you and surround you with our invisible wings of light. So you're deeply protected. All right. Mm -hmm. all right, going forward, let's pull you some guidance from the tarot. What is it Gemini needs to know right now? Oh, you've got the high priestess energy, which is so beautiful. So everything you've been through is to teach you things about self and others in terms of it's going to help push you forward into the high priestess energy. So use the energy of disappointments, use the energies of things that didn't work out to fuel you into your strength, your motivation, your discipline, your power, your authority. Use it as a fuel that ignites you versus something that you hold on to as some sort of disappointment, right? You need to actively work on doing your spiritual practices and raising and elevating your energy and clearing your energy, any blockages. Mm. you got the seven of cups. You've got a lot of choices in front of you, um, decisions to make, pivotal point of decision making. And you've got the three of pentacles here. Some of you may want to study something new. It might help you get on the path you want to get on. Certainly some stirrings of new things that you want to do, exploring your options. Mm. And you've got the ace of wands. It's definitely a new beginning. Definitely a new beginning. There are things you need to cut through that no longer serve you. The ace of wands can be a new love offer coming through it kind of feels like you're not really ready for one possibly opening up the door to love that was here mm, yeah okay this is super interesting energy we've got the queen of swords now if we have a look at this she's holding the sword behind her ready to cut through anything that comes her way that disruptive in any kind of way um it's almost like a bit of a death sword that whatever comes her way that doesn't serve her that's negative that's antagonistic you're going to cut through it and that's going to be the end of it right it could be quite harsh <laughs> spirit saying watch out because if you do that to someone you've got the knight of swords here they've got their sword raised and ready so don't take that approach darlings right as much as you want to stick your sword into someone don't take that approach <laughs> right you will cut things out of your life. So you're at a position, darlings. Like if we have a look at this, I'm going to pull you some more guidance. If we have a look at the different energies here, the high priestess energy in the Queen of Swords is you've learned a lot from life. You know what doesn't serve you. 
you have the power within you to rise above the challenges and be a bigger person, right? And come from a place of tranquility and peace and balance versus wanting, you might be in this energy, darling, to feel like you just want to get that sorted out, left, right and centre. Mm -hmm. It's really a big clearance that needs to happen because this person's waiting for you to strike back. And it's completely unnecessary because whatever's gone through is done and dusted now and it's been sorted out legally if that message resonates with you. So it's really about you moving on to your own path. Any other guidance here? Mm. There's a lot of wand energy coming out. You've got the Knight of Wands. Which is wand is actually down, right? So when we get into the Knight of Wands energies, we're actually exploring and open a bit more. Mm, yeah, got the Ten of Swords here. Been through a lot. Recognition of that. There's no denying it, my loves. And you got the Eight of Pentacles, and you've worked really hard for what you created. Some of you have just lost some of your assets, or the assets have just been divvied up. Mm -hmm. Any other guidance? Mm. You got the Six of Swords here. I'm going to say you both equally presented a case that showed both sides, both parties, right? Um, so you did your best in that regard. There was nothing that you didn't do your best in. Yeah, God, you got the Seven of Swords. So possibly there was some deception that went on. Everything's leading you to the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment, but it's a completely different path, darling, than one you're on. So there needs to be an acceptance that whatever you went through here, you've done your best. It has been the, there's an outcome that is here or it's coming through that's going to be in the best interest of everyone involved. You did everything you possibly could, right? It's time to let it go. Sometimes what happens in these situations, and I know we're going a little bit long, is that we're so focused on being in a battle with someone. Do we know how to step back and just live life back in joy and happiness? So you kind of got to release all of that pent-up energy that happened with trying to get an outcome that's now been, you've got the outcome, right? So then how do we step back into a place of peace and quietness and balance again? You're going to have to do some release work again. Mm -hmm. All right, my darlings, those of you messages, I'd love to know if this resonated with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do reach out if you need extra guidance and support with the personal reading. Booking links on here and down below for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.